What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys the trick forward pass, and it looks like this. That's what it looks like in this trick. I'm sorry, but this trick should be easier than trapeze and double or nothing, and we are playing trapeze with his brother, and everything that you've learned before. Um, so I'm gonna be using the, I'm gonna be using the Yo-Yo Factory Whip in this video. So, yeah, and um, to start off this video, you're going to need to know uh, how to do the normal throw and how to catch it regularly. You want to make sure you know how to catch it, per catch it the right way. So, so you can just practice doing this. And, uh, yeah. So, to start off this video, you're also probably really good if you guys know how to do the breakaway. I had a video on it. If you guys want to just look at this low mo because I know I didn't really explain it in greater detail. So if you want to slow that down. And you'll notice that when I taught you it, I kept my palm up. So you catch it with your palm up and not like this. Because you don't want to catch it like this. You want to catch it like that, because you'll see when you go to throw it again, that that the string is going below the gap of the yo-yo instead of over the yo-yo. So you want that gap going over the yo-yo, and most of the time when you catch it like that, um, when you catch it like that, it actually really hurts and it's really hard to catch. You guys can go ahead and try it, but it's difficult and uncomfortable, and it'll just help you in the long run if you know how to catch it with your palm up. So, you're going to start this video like you're going to do normal throw, but it's also good if you guys, make sure you guys have the slip knot or else it will fly off um, of your hand. So, have your slip knot, and you're going to position your hand like you're going to do a normal throw, but instead of getting, doing a normal throw, you're going to have your hand tight, turn your hand palm down, curl your palm in. So like this, turn your hand down, turn your palm in, and then from here, you're going to want to your, your, your elbow or your palm to go behind your back. So, so your palm up, turn down, cup in, so now your palm's facing up, and have your hand facing down like this. Now you'll see in the, that same position that you would when you throw it. Um, and the strings don't have enough you to do. So now, from here, you're just going to want to throw it. So just do this. All you're doing, all you're doing is this motion while swinging your arm like this. So if you just practice doing this at the end right here, then this will get you good. So now once you've practiced this and you've got it down, I would say practice that for about a minute just doing this. So from here, you're gonna let go when your palm is right here. So when, when your arm is fully straight, even your wrist. So let go when your palm is fully there. And you're gonna wanna throw it a little bit more up. And you see I caught it like that there. And you'll see when I go to throw it the next time, um, and I threw it up so you wanna make sure the strings don't over the gap, you catch it correctly. So now once you throw it, you'll feel the string at the end, you'll feel the yo-yo tug at the end of the string. And um, so when you feel that yo-yo tug at the end of the string, you're just going to want to pull to get the yo-yo back. So pull, and don't catch it with your palm out like that, you want to catch it with your palm in. And I found an easier way to do this. I found an easy way to catch it is catch it like this. Once you catch it like this, immediately curl. So curl before um, uh, aim for the yo-yo to hit this part. So right here. So you don't want the yo-yo to hit. You don't want the yo-yo to hit your fingers here. You want, you don't want the 
the ear, you to hit your palm here, you don't want it to hit your fingers. You want it to hit right here, so right in the middle of that. Um, and another way to just make sure I show you that's going to come is instead of catching it flat like this, you'll see that's kind of hard to cup, so like that. You want, to, you want your back of your pump to go a little bit up so that yo-yo, because it's going to want to come to the slip knot, it's going to want to come to the loop of the yo-yo. So it's good because it'll go a little bit more past that. So you want to make sure the back of your palm is a little bit up instead of flat or, or down like this or like this. Because if you try to catch it like that, it'll hurt. And it's good for the first time. If you're just watching the yo-yo at the end of the string, you'll know if it's you'll know if it has said the string if you guys can hear that bearing. Like you'll see this yo-yo is really, really loud. Um, I do apologize for that. Um but you'll hear it and then that's when you tug. So you wanna wait like So once you get once you get really comfortable with it, you don't even pull and it just comes back. Same thing with the brake wood. You don't even have to pull. I wash my hand and I don't even pull or twitch or do anything like that. Like you can mark my hand. It just it just comes back. So once you get comfortable with it, you don't have to tug. But it's really good if you do practice tugging. And this trick leads to things like looping. And you'll see that I do this trick in the outro of my videos if I have a response of the audio.